सहजानंद स्वामी महाराज नी जय हरि कृष्ण महाराज नी जय कष्ट भंजन देव नी जय टुडे आई वुड लाइक टू मेंशन दी हाउ द सत्संग आई माय सेल्फ इन्वॉल्व फ्रॉम द बिगिनिंग ऑफ माय लाइफ बिगिनिंग एंड हाउ द सत्संग ऑफ द सांता डोमिंगो वाज डेवलप एंड also the how the satsang in the phoenix gurukul uh, arizona vedic culture we created that's what i'm going to talk now since childhood i was about uh, i remember 5 year old and i used to go to temple in my small town my village devarajia called village devarajia is in the mrelli district in gujarat state india so our family my parents my mother maniben and my father jarambai they are all very pious family his father karmshi bab he was also the great devotee he has one brother ji bhai and all those people were so pious and they had a very good dedication to the lord so i learned from my childhood this all spirituality i used to go to temple in devrajia village in my village and i used to do aarti and prayer and all this stuff there was a bhakta so called the uh rabu baba rabu bhai tarpara old man mm. i was five but he was about maybe 65 70 at that time mm. so i used to sit down with him and learning the vajramrita from gujarati and he used to explain me what is atma no and there was under pujari the worshiping then they were village people nice people very pure hearted narayan baba narayan bhai gohi he was pujari but he was also remembering all the nishkulan kavya and bhakta chintamani he seen so i learned from there with the time plus my grandfather karmshi baba used also used to be singer on this nishkulan kavya so from me maybe that genetics came to me so i always like to sing so then Uh, I went to the school and the uh, my hometown. Then went to the Amreli, the district town. Then I went to the Rajkot Gurukul for two years with the Sastri Ji Maharaj mm. in uh, 1970 to 1972. Mm. And uh, at the time, I has no much uh, attraction to the Sastri Ji Maharaj, but I had attraction to the Bandar Sah, the Purani Prem Prakash Daji, because mm. he had a divine love with him. Sastri Ji Maharaj is the more on the higher level, you know. Mm. So it's, uh, it takes time to understand him, but I understood afterwards he was so great and divine. But at that time I was not understanding that much. Mm. And from there I went to the study further in the B.Sc. Agriculture in the Nawsari town in the Gujarat Agriculture University. Now is known as Nawsari Agriculture University. Then I did my master in the. agriculture chemistry and soil science in the junagar university junagar agriculture university mm-hmm. and it was used to be one a gujarat agriculture university now they divided four campuses in gujarat so then uh, i'm after that i work as a agriculture uh, i'm a botany uh, the associate research scientist in one of the campus in the mm-hmm. nearby my hometown dari um, in gujarat amreli district and then i came in 1981 here 1981 uh, december 5th 1981 but the ragu pa tarapra ragu pa tarapra jer bapa means father yeah. ragu bapa i call him he was the different family tarapra family but he was so like a father mm-hmm. he 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 told when i was there uh, 1976 or 78 something uh, that uh, He, then my friend, the Dhiru Vekariya, he is my friend. He was sitting there. We used to do satsang with them. We used to sit down with them. And at that time, he told me that uh, this boy, he will go to the village because my brother was here, Dhiru Bai. You know, Dhiru Bai was here. Then my parent came, so we came afterward. But then he said this boy will propagate the Swami Narayan principles to the all over the world. He told me that at that time. And the witness is with Dhiru Vekariya. and uh, ultimately i came to the, before i come i went to the swami ji shastri ji maharaj and purani swami shastri ji maharaj gave me blessing and all this stuff then purani swami prem prakash das ji you know this mm. he told me chatur what you studied 
I said, Swami, you know, I become the uh, scientist uh, in agriculture, in plant scientist. Like, to doctor nahi You didn't become a doctor? I said, no, Swami, I become the plant doctor. He said, he said, you will become the human doctors and uh, you're doing everything good and serve to the people, you know. That's what he said. And I had no idea that I would go to the medicine here because it was the, behind that, all the view was from this, Sastriji Maharaj had uh, um, thought, he had this uh, desire to propagate the principles of Lord Swami Narayan to the all over universe. That was Sastriji Maharaj. So that, they were oneness both. So he told me that you will become doctors. I said, okay, Swami. I was thinking maybe the PhD or something I will become. So then I came in America. Dhirubhai was here, my parents came, so we came here. Me four, two brothers of my well, smaller brother Aswin and me and my two sisters, you know, uh, Vimala and Kamala, which four people came first, then my other family came. We were seven sisters and six brothers. One brother died, Vijay, he died. Mm -hmm. So uh, then we came here, then I was planning to do the PhD. So I went to the Arizona, uh, what do you call the Kansas State University for do PhD. Mm -hmm. And then I did one month or so, then I said, why am I doing all this stuff? Ultimately, I have to do nothing recently. So Dhirubhai told me that, why don't you become a doctor? Take the MCAT. So I took the MCAT, Medical College Admission Test. Mm -hmm. And I got very good score. But still, my degree at that time was not recognized here everywhere, right? My master's degree. Mm -hmm. So what I did is, then uh, I got very good score. I applied, I didn't got it. Then someone told me that, hey, there is a, in the Dominican Republic, you just pay the dollar fee, then you will get it there. So I did that, you know, and uh, I went there in January 27, 1983. That is the establishment of the International Swaminar Spiritual Center mm -hmm. in Santa Domingo. Say Thursday, I came to the one of the hotel, you know, in Nako, it called Nako, and I don't know how many days I stayed there because there was no place to get in the nearby university anywhere. So I was. Um, and staying there, I was not cooking, I was taking some food from here, I was eating there. And then ultimately, Maharaj has given me the pace and I stayed there. But I was coming to back, I said, I want to go back, I cannot stay like this. So I called my brother Dhirubhai, you know, Dhirubhai counseled me to go there. Mm. So uh, I said, I'm coming back, he said, why? I said, I, I cannot do here, I cannot eat, I cannot see anybody, I cannot speak much Spanish and English also, I cannot speak much either, you know. So I told him, uh, I'm coming back. So one day I was doing puja in the morning after the second day after calling. Then I make the small papers, piece of papers, mm -hmm. you know, and make stay. And uh, 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 Sastriji Maharaj, Purani Swami, Swami go home back and do in the agriculture line, go back. And so I, here I put the stay in the medicine line. So I put through a picture and put on the puja there, and this came stay. So I say, oh, Maharaj has want to to stay here. So I say, okay, now I have to stay. Once I do that, I follow that. So I say, okay, I'm going to stay now. So I call Dhirubhai again back. I'm not coming back. He said, why? I say, I put the chitti and I'm not going to come back. He said, stay. He said, okay. So I stay there, okay? And then, yeah, that chitti, that paper piece of is still in my puja here in the my home, both of them. So there, um, uh, I pray to the Maharaj. Okay, then give me one small room so I can stay myself and I can cook and eat and all this stuff. Because I, I went to the Pakistani fellows one with me two three. I went one week two weeks, but they were eating meat and all this stuff, so I couldn't like it. Then he said, okay, we'll not eat. One guy said, okay, we'll, we'll not eat all. Then they start to say, okay. And then after two, three days, one guy said, oh, I cannot stay without ghost. And ghost, I, I was not knowing what is ghost. But there's, when the ghosts, they kill it, they're called the ghost. So I didn't know that at the time. So, okay. And they were speaking Urdu, and I was speaking Hindi. So he said, "This to the Hindi bolta hai, but Urdu bolta hai, but nahi. They say I bolta raha hai, but they say Hindi bol raha hu." But we don't know that Hindi or Urdu same bolta hai, more or less. So then uh, I stayed here, started studying all this stuff, and then I met the one person one time. So the first one is the. Ganesham Bhagat. I went to the nearby the Hare Krishna temple in the nearby university. 
and I took the Shiksha Patri with me. And Shiksha Patri was with me, and so I was showing to the one of the guys, Gowata, he was president. Gowata, he was president there. And I was talking to him and explaining him, but he was a little tough guy. So he, he said, oh, there is nobody except this, this, this. Because they, whatever they teach, it was in the floor in his mind. Mm. But he became devotee afterwards. Now he's very good respect to Swaminara. <laughs> so then he translating there in the, with the Sastriji Maharaj. You, you, you get it. Then we went to Harikata. <coughs> so then uh, mm, Yandrike was looking this and he liked it. He doesn't speak English at all. But he was just coming there. He was not devotee to the Hare Krishna, but he was came like me. Mm. And he was looking there and he liked it. So he told me that come down afterwards. Well, I'll drop you down there to your house, wherever you live. So he came there and then we talk and all this stuff. Then he already said, someday he comes, we talk, talk, talk. And then I give him all the experience and all the Shikshapatri, Vajranavadu. Then he took me to the Mirya Bhakti Jama Saraswati. And then I talked to her and she said, oh, oh, very good. I was waiting for 40 years. Just for such I was waiting for 40 years to propagate this thing. And then uh, she said, I'm uh, like it, this Shikshapatri. I will read it and I'll let you know. Then she read it and she said, oh my God, this is a wonderful book I ever seen. I was studying, I was working in the United Nations as a, a translator and secretary. But I never seen like this uh, Shikshapatri, small book. Is a, all the summary of the uh, your Indian Hindu religion dharma. I say, yeah, it is. And then she says it will translate. And she translated. She has a darshan of the Lord Swamina. Then she starts with the Siksha Vajramradam. Then she translated the uh, principles of the uh, philosophy of Lord Swamina. Mm -hmm. And also she translated the uh, Lord Swamina the, by the one of the um, professor uh, called the Parikh. Parikh, uh, his book, uh, and uh, then she finished the Vajrama, she wants to go to Divine Abode, she asked me about, okay, I finished, now I can go, I said, no, we have to do more, she said, no, my work done, I have to go now, she called me Thursday, and she Saturday left, yeah, Saturday she left, uh, 1993, I believe, hmm. okay, and then, uh, there are many devotees, we initiated, like uh, Gansham Bhagat, uh, Enrique, Don Jose, Jorge Solano, uh, Hari Krishna Bhagat, uh, Paresh Bhagat. Paresh Bhagat, one of the guys, he has a uh, beard was white and he was talking about at that time. Uh, oh, Lord, uh, if you have maybe seen, he said, Lord Swami Narayan, Supreme of the Earth, Supreme of the Earth. Did you see that? And he was talking about uh, Sahajananda Swami. Sahajan. There was no internet, anything at the time. They didn't look at it, but they realized the God themselves with the blessing of His Holiness. Shastriji Maharaj, Purani Prabhupada, like great Sadhu, Gunati Dan Swami. You know. So then uh, I finished my these things and then. I came back in America again and then did all this stuff and then I came here after finishing all residency in Sunni Buffalo, uh, nuclear medicine in the Hanuman and Long Island Jewish. Then I came 2004 here and then 2009 we established this center here called the uh, Arizona Vedic Culture Center of Swaminarayan Guru USA and its aim was to establish the Bhagavad Dharma, Vedic Dharma and give it to the good people who are interesting on this to all over the globe and that is was the second center here I initiated on behalf of his Shastri Maharaj and mm -hmm. So uh, when you keep the good sadhus with you, he will guide you and he will do all this stuff on remaining with you. you know. And uh, uh, this center now, first devotee of the America in the Kasvastnavar Jayanti 200 initiated the Ananda Bhagat, the uh, Andrew Scott and you are the luckiest of the first number like Enrique Guzman in Santa Domingo, in <laughs> You are Ananda here. So our aim is to, to make the 200 devotees like pure devotees who can work for Lord Swami Narayan here. And uh, we have to slowly go. We don't want uh, too many people for if they don't understand. We need the real people who understand and do the job. Just like in Santa Domingo, still they are working on. There is a Paresh Bhagat. Uh, Dinesh Bhagat, Balun Kunda Bhagat, Maria Sabodija, Masaraswati, Miriya, uh, Martinez, uh, Ansuya Devi, Ush, you know, Radha Devi, a lot of nipple names, I'm forgetting now too, for a long time now. 39, 37 years old at the temple. Mm -hmm. So our aim is to propagate the principles of Lord Swami on the Vedic form, on the whatever way he explained.
mm-hmm. and true form. And so I'm very thankful to this great Sadhu Sastriji Maharaj, Purana Swami, my parents, my brothers, my sisters, and all our family. And, and also, I'm married to the Rupal. In 1986, we met, got married. I forgot to tell you that. And 1986, May 28, and she is uh, still supporting me, and she's doing all the spiritual work. She always dedicated her life to the satsang and our family. And we have four kids, right? Radhika, Dr. Radhika, she's doing wonderful, Dr. Arti, she met, she, she met to the Dr. Sonak Pandya, and they got married. Then the third one is the Krishna, she's in premier, and Hare Krishna is in fourth year. Mm-hmm. So whatever they have destiny, may Lord bless to them as well, and do good in their life, and we all do good, and also your life too, but God bless you too. And this is the small history I was trying to put in, because if I go on, there is something kid, my kid will know, or my devotees who are good, they can know that. That's why I said that. Sahaja and Swami Maharaj.